Welcome back to the Web Access channel. In this video, I will show you how to do a large rope to rope transfer without a second backup device. Let's go. So what if for some reason you don't have a second backup device or the situation changes or you decide to work a little bit longer and suddenly this, yeah, you need to make a large rope to rope transfer, but you don't have a second backup device. The principles stay the same. It's a large rope to rope transfer. The anchors are more than 1.5 meters apart. There is a danger if some line breaks somewhere that I swing against the structure. So I need four points of attachment at all time while in the transfer. Very important thing is you have to take care that you can reach the rope. So what I've done is I've taken them up with me from the bottom attached to a cow tail so I can always reach them. Like I said, basics are the same. I take one rope, put it in my chest ascender, get my hand of the sender, like so. Unlock all the carabiners. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tuck so I'll be better positioned. Just a small one. Nothing big. We don't wanna use our arms too much when we're climbing. So I have my new main rope, the green one in this case, in my chest ascender and I'm gonna descend into it. But if I end up over there, then I'm only on one point of contact so I need, need a new one. Normally you would just take a second backup and put it on. We don't have it right now, so I'm gonna go for the easiest solution. Is you tie a butterfly knot, which I've shown you in the video up there. Dress it. And then I take my cow tail and attach it. I could go direct, but with sometimes with rope stretch, that means that this will become under tension. So I'm just below a full factor one. We don't want to go any lower. If I want to take the time, I can actually move this one up a little bit. And I do want to take the time. So I have a very nice small knot. If it would be above me, it's way below full factor one, so that's good. So from here on, it's easy. I check my system again. That's locked, that's locked. I just descend down into my new system. And when I've transferred over, I can take out my descender. Take out my backup. Put my backup above, and this is important, above the knot I just made. So if I would have made this knot even higher, then I might not actually reach it. Now, why do we want it like this? I'm gonna take out this one, and watch this. If my backup would be underneath, and I would take out this knot, there's probably about this much slack. So that's a lot of fall distance extra, and we always want to minimize our fall distance. So by more luck than wisdom, I've actually did the height of the butterfly knot perfect. So let me show you what the fall distance would be extra, that much. And then my back walk would be here, so I'm closing in on fall factor two. And we always want to minimize our fall distance. And now I've made a large rope to rope transfer. Now I could either climb up to do my work or finish or I need to go down, that all depends. We know how to do a changeover from both directions. You can see it in the video up here. This video was sponsored by Industrial Klimme. Industrial Klimme is a training center situated right north of Amsterdam. And you can come here for your GWO training, your IRATA training or any other safety safe working at height related training. There's rescue trainings, there's confined space training, first aid, all the good stuff. 
If you need any climbing equipment, you can come into the store and try it out. Or if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the website. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to never miss a new upload, and I will see you in the next video. Stay connected.